Hi everyone, Kelsey here with video number 76 and today we're in for a fun one because I'm going to show you some brand new Thomas Kincaid slash Disney panels, also some restocks, and then we're also going to talk about ideas for using the panels, like this jean jacket I'm wearing right now, and I'm also going to tell you a really fun story and experience that I just had with one of my coworkers. So let's first start out by looking at the restock this is the Cinderella live action panel. Um, she is running down the stairs, the clock's going to strike midnight, the prince is standing at the top, and we have the carriage waiting for her. This has been a very popular panel, so we're glad to have it back. This is also the panel that I chose to have on my jean jacket. So now we're going to look at a few new ones. The detail in here, as you all know, is gorgeous. We have Rapunzel looking up at the lights. Once again, these are very big panels, so the obvious thing to do would be to put some borders around it and make a quick quilt, but there's also so much more you can do with these amazingly detailed panels. Everywhere you look in it, there's a story going on. All right, let's keep looking. Next, we have the Aristocats in Paris. And once again, a story every which way you look in these beautiful panels. Okay. And this one, I think, is one of my new favorites. It's Mickey and Minnie in the Outback. How cool is that? These are fun panels if you are a fan of Kincaid and you're a fan of Disney, but they could also be memories from a trip. Like if you've ever been to the Outback, how fun would it be to make yourself something um, to re be reminded of those memories? So again, everywhere you look, there's something going on. Pluto's down in the corner wondering what type of animal he's staring at. You've got kangaroos in the background, goofy standing guard, really neat panel. This one is a restock as well, but we're glad whenever we can get them back in stock. Minnie and Mickey and the Alps. And then you see Pluto over there with another dog. It looks like they're yodeling maybe. <laughs> and the last one that's new this go around is a real beauty. No pun intended. <laughs> we have Beauty and the Beast, a very, very vibrant, colorful panel with the castle in the background. Beauty and the Beast was one of my favorites growing up, so I love this. So now that you've seen all the new panels, I am going to take off this jacket and show you just how easy it is to embellish a jean jacket of your own. So Kathy and I had an event to go to at Disney Springs last week. So Kathy was so kind enough to get us denim jackets and decorate them with these Thomas Kincaid slash Disney panels. And so I was amazed at how beautiful it turned out. It looks very impressive, right? I mean, we've got a little glitter, we have some Swarovski crystals, um, and, the, and the panel is beautifully sewn. So Kathy made this and I said, Kathy, what did you do? And she said, Kelsey, it's so easy. Just cut the panel to fit the area you would like to adorn, but cut it half an inch bigger to be able to turn the raw edges under. Pin and stitch, that's it. So I'm gonna say this one more time. Choose the area that you would like to embellish on your jean jacket cut your fabric panel a half an inch bigger so that you can turn the raw edge under, maybe press it a little, pin all the way around, and stitch. And then from there, decide how you wanna embellish it. I love that she used the Swarovski crystals. And then on the front side, you don't have to be limited to just the back, she put the prints. So I have some pictures that we're hopefully gonna share with you of that night. Um, here's another really good scrap busting idea. Whatever pieces of the panel you have left over, make a bucket hat. We're gonna provide you with the link to the pattern, but this is a really fun 
Pretty simple project. It's got a little bit of elastic in there, so it stayed on my head all night for the event. Kathy had one on too. And you can see we've got the horses, the carriage on the top, the driver. Um, this was really, really fun to wear. Bucket hats are in. They never went out of style. You can always wear a bucket hat. So why not wear one to match your jean jacket? All right, so the last thing I wanna tell you is why we wore these things to, um, oops, Disney Springs. So we got to meet Dirk Wonderlick. Dirk Wonderlick is a legacy artist who trained under Thomas Kincaid himself, and he is responsible for painting many of the um, Disney Thomas Kincaid works of art. Not all of them and not every element, but he had a hand in many of them. So when we went to the Art of Disney, there was a wall of works of art and I didn't know how I was going to pick. I finally dwindled it down to this one because I just got back from Hawaii. But the cool thing about Dirk is that once you purchase the piece of art at Disney Springs at this event last week, you could tell him whatever it is that you wanted him to draw on the back and watch him draw it. So I told him I'd like Minnie with the hibiscus in her hair and um, he was able to do that for me and the whole experience was amazing to watch him sketching, to be there with a couple customers and my coworker, and to really appreciate the art. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you find inspiration to decorate your clothes if you're making a special trip to Disney or anywhere for that matter. And all the fabric is available in store or online at sewing.net. Bonus, since you stayed with me until the end of the video, you get 15% off any of these panels that I just showed. Use code DISNEY in the coupon code box on sewing.net. Thanks for watching.